create an end cap in SOLIDWORKS. From the Weldments tab, I'm going to select End Cap. The field for the faces will be highlighted, so I can select any face I wish to place an end cap on. In my case, I'm going to select this structural member here. The default is to create the end cap. And then a little dotted line here means the overall tube length won't change, so the 5 millimeter thickness of the end cap will add to the length of this member. If I choose the next icon where I make it inward, it's going to create the two five millimeters shorter in the cut list. The third option, and new to 2015, is to create the end cap inside of the tube. And when I choose this option, I can also tell it to offset the end cap in a certain distance. The offset field, the default is the thickness ratio, that determines how thick my end cap is. I'm going to put it back on top to make it easier to see. And here it's 0.5 relative to the 5 millimeter or 2.5 thick. And I can also change the offset so it's larger than the tube or back so it's smaller than the tube. So the gap here currently is 2.5 mils. The other option is just to give it the value. So I could put in 5 mil and have it float in air. Either way, I can offset it so it's larger than the tube or smaller than the tube. And another option is to turn on the corner treatment and I can create chamfers or fillets on the corner and set their size here. When I'm happy with my selection, I'll accept it. 